we see all this talk about Bitcoin being decentralized and how this is amazing for libertarian minded individuals and also those individuals that want to unfortunately launder money this goes on and on and if you look at it it sounds convincing but if you think about it the future we're not going to see a decentralized Bitcoin system or Bitcoin cryptocurrency and the reason is is that the governments are going to come up with many regulations but let's just take a look at this article by the deal book in the New York Times and it's called Bitcoin nationless currency still feels government's pinch and let's scroll down right now if Bitcoin is in a bubble as its critics contend it is showing signs of deflating a rapid succession of moves by governments around the world has cast doubts on the legitimacy of the virtual currency and its price fell about 60 percent at one point on Wednesday morning from its high earlier this month it recovered some as the day went on the price volatility is underscoring Bitcoin sensitivity to decisions by government officials despite its promised status as the first global currency free of government intervention and oversight money it turns out is still a government prerogative this tight regulation is really counter to what a lot of folks thought was going to happen said Mark T. Williams a finance professor at Boston University who has been tracking Bitcoin regulation is the future of e-currency not decentralization as many had hoped let's look at this line again regulation is the future of e-currency not decentralization as many had hoped you have to remember that governments around the world they like taxing the crap out of new items new innovations and that's what they're going to do I mean if Bitcoin ever gets popular really really popular and it does not crash and I'm wrong and a lot of other pundits are wrong about Bitcoin then what's going to end up happening well they're going to regulate a lot more think of the NSA the NSA has fantastic not fantastic they have all these techniques to determine what we're talking about even in refrigerators they could detect what we're talking about that sounds insane new television sets they could record they could listen to our conversations if they really wanted to that's how crazy the technology is it sounds insane but that's how it is and here's another article where I also agree with and it says that Bitcoin is not decentralized to the extent that people talk about and let's just look at a few things in this article it's on coindesk.com it says following the money researcher tracks Bitcoin movements and anonymity and the researcher is Sarah Mickeljohn I may not be pronouncing that last name correctly but let's just look at one of the articles or one of the questions that was asked and it was over here as far as anonymity you came to the conclusion that it's not that easy to stay anonymous with Bitcoin actually I'm not sure that's the right conclusion I think that if you are motivated and if you understand how the Bitcoin protocol works you can stay anom excuse me, anonymous the caveat there is that you have to you have to try to stay anonymous at scale if you have a Bitcoin then sure you can stay anonymous if you understand the protocol if you use mix services or other crazy stuff you're going to do fine the problem is when you try to scale this up if you have millions of dollars worth of bitcoins then it's going to become a lot harder to hide that number of bitcoins in the network when we ultimately went to track some of these big thefts we saw these attempts to do crazy things like splitting the bitcoins then peeling them then aggregating the bitcoins back together but ultimately the fact that every transaction was publicly available was going to shoot you in the foot when you tried to obscure the flow of large amounts of bitcoins this individual Sarah M she was actually detecting all these bitcoins and I could show you in another another article where she was able to track I believe some bitcoins from the Silk Road now let's go to Forbes.com and it's regarding follow the bitcoins how we got busted buying drugs on Silk Road's black market and this is with Sarah M again and let's just look at one paragraph to show you that hey bitcoins is not decentralized to the extent that it is based on her research 
but Mickeljohn and her colleagues at UCSD and George Mason University have found that a little snooping in the blockchain can often undercover who owns which of those Bitcoin addresses. In a paper they're presenting at the Internet Measurement Conference in Barcelona next month, they showed that they could use clustering methods taking advantage of clues in how Bitcoins are typically aggregated to split up to identify thousands of addresses based on just a few transactions they performed. With the data from just 30, 344 of their own transactions, they were able to label the owners of more than a million Bitcoin addresses. And by just making four deposits and seven withdrawals into accounts held on Silk Road, Michael John says the research researchers identified 295,000 addresses as belonging to that drug market. So basically, the conclusion that we could come up with is that Bitcoins isn't anonymous according to the research that Michael John has come up with. But if you're sophisticated, savvy, like Trace Meyer and a few others, you could encrypt your Bitcoins, you can make sure that it's anonymous. So you need to be smart if you want to be anonymous. But if you want to look at the real gist of it, the NSA most likely will come up with methods to try to detect Bitcoins. Because if you have all this money leaving the United States, they're going to eventually want to track it. I mean, look at our deficits. It's 600, 700 billion at least. And this is through phantom accounting, okay? The real deficit probably would be around 800 to 800 billion to a trillion dollars. Besides the point, those thinking that Bitcoins are decentralized, they need to do their homework and they need to learn some tricks and be technologically savvy in order to make sure that it is anonymous. Because at times, you know what? There are many people who think that they're anonymous, but in fact, they're not. And before I go, guys, if you want to check out my report, it's on eBay. You could pick it up. It's a stock market. Red flash. Red signs are flashing. I did a video yesterday, posted it up there. And if you want to take a look at that, it's only three bucks. It's not that much. I'm not making that much out of it. But if you still want to check it out, look at my thoughts, then take a look. And yeah. I'm still going to be doing most of these videos, which are free on YouTube, so don't get really mad at me. So, anyways, I'm just doing a test to see who's interested, who's not, and I'll go forward from there. Anyways, thanks for listening to me, guys, and I'll talk to you another time.